Well, after a search on the web, I found the CT2950 drivers for DOS, uh, Windows 3.1 and Windows 95. So I thought I'd give it a shot and see if those drivers will actually work with this card. So let's get the machine booted back to DOS. number one There's four floppies in this set we'll see if we have any better luck with this one if this doesn't work my assumption is the uh, sound blaster cards bad Maybe the same installer as I had on the CD-ROM, or maybe not. We'll find out. Full installation. Four and it paused for quite some time. Please install Intel Configuration Manager before installing your audio software. Okay, I don't know if this came with that or not. Oh, wonderful. a bit irritating. Blaster line. No, there's really nothing in there. Oops. Let's put what's on the A floppy. did uh, stop in a different place so this looks like the same file blaster line will not have any effect if you're using a plug and play audio card for the same reason as above. Now, I guess I go look for yet another piece of software. Well, looking through the uh, Sound Blaster drivers I downloaded, I found something that looks like the Creative Labs plug and play manager. I thought I'd look at installing that and see if it'll let me install the uh, drivers. So, let's see what this is. Uh, Oh, geez, can't type here. 
It's hard typing at a angle. Let's see what we got here. such as DOS, you need to use the Creative Plug and Play Configuration Manager. Okay. So, Creative PNP Configuration Manager. Exit to DOS, type A install or B install. Okay, this looks like it might do what we want. Jeez. I'm on an odd angle here to the keyboard. And not being a great typist, it makes it even harder. I'm guessing these little dashes are at uncompressing files. Though I could be wrong. It's interesting the install. For the sound card, called it the Intel Configuration Manager. But well, I've hit enter. It's like the same thing the sound card installer does. It's paused while it does something. assume this loads some kind of uh, driver or service. To implement the plug and play so that the uh, Sound Blaster installer can see it. There was a time when I had a number of Sound Blaster cards ages and ages ago as a the startup I was involved in, we wrote our own drivers. Uh, those days are long gone. Yeah, there's some kind of driver. Configuration, the README. So, I might go ahead and make the changes to config sys and auto exec. Install will now run to repair the. extensions. Please remember to reboot your system. Well, let's reboot and see what we get. Found create plug and play card. Excellent. Well, that's a good sign. Now I'm curious if we go into the 
device manager in Windows, assuming I can get to it without a mouse. really just okay all options exit maybe from control panel I can find well I'm sure it needs uh, I'm sure this is gonna need sound drivers I'm just wondering if the plug and play nope Get back to DOS. And we can try the install of the uh, Sound Blaster drivers again. All windows in the same directory. So, uh, I must have run the wrong uh, installer. Did install on here, not set up. Uh, I actually managed to run the Windows installer off the C drive. The next hurdle here is going to be speakers. I have a pair of multimedia speakers. They're USB powered. I'll have to modify them to pick up a 5 volt rail someplace. it will find it here nice so 220 yep looks like that's all the defaults just all the standard defaults I remember from back in the day well I'll let this uh, grind away here and we'll take a poke at it when it's done well it's now asking for the uh, text assist disk which I'm assuming it was disk 4 of the four disks I found the first three have been loaded so we'll go ahead and load that up and I'm assuming this is some kind of text to speech maybe or it's a pretty interesting I'm getting quite a collection of uh, high density floppies here as part of this install uh, well, 
I'll let this keep installing and I'll update you when we're done. Well we're still on disk 4 of the install it's loading various drivers it's made configuration changes in the auto exec and the config sys it's now uh, it's like moving DLLs etc into the Windows folders it looked like there was some kind of a text-to-speech application that was loaded for DOS so we'll just uh, let it crank here it's looking at Windows System Mini The world has become much more convenient, that's for sure. Well, as you can see, it's slowly cranking away. Well, we're performing the reboot after the install. So, let's see what we get here. Certainly uh, loaded a lot of stuff, made a lot of tweaks to the auto exec and config sys. Cluster environment settings are, are invalid. I wonder why. Blaster environmental settings are invalid. Well, that doesn't do us much good, does it? CDS. Oh, jeez. CDSB. This is getting ridiculous. I don't have the speakers plugged in because I don't know which jack here is well certainly not hearing an 8-bit digitized sound I do have the volume up on the speakers Certainly didn't get any sound.
Don't know. It's kind of disappointing I didn't get any audio out of it. Uh, I don't know. card is configured at A220 so the diagnostic passed this time that's a good sign I'm gonna click the power off and pull the audio card out and take a look at the outputs on it see if I can figure out which one is which line in mic in line out it's hard to read Can see if I can read that. And the light is just joystick, speaker out, line in, mic in, line out, speaker out. So it's the bottom jack. back up here and see if we can get it to do something. Give you a look down at the machine as it stands. Just motherboard sitting there, stack of floppy hard drive and CD-ROM sitting there. like a CDT tar icon text olay I think these are probably Windows programs TA reader Yep. Of course, the question becomes Did you get DOS driver or Windows drivers installed? Well, it did touch the Windows any. So I'm assuming it's put the drivers in for Windows. So, uh, look for the little MIDI program, see if it'll play MIDI audio. Run the driver's applet in the control panel to reconfigure the wave and MIDI driver. Of course. Have you crashed here? FM hardware is not responding. Uh.
Boy, without a mouse, this is uh, difficult to navigate. Text delay, file. start windows to see if this if it corrected the missing driver issue as it built the configuration are you actually going to exit or are you hung up Always an adventure. There's probably a way to emulate a mouse in Windows. Okay, same issue as before. Hmm. So it's gonna tell me to go to control panel. Driver's applet to reconfigure. Oh, I'm waiting on me to hit enter. Sound Blaster 16, Location Games. I don't know how to move between uh, windows here. for the life of me figure out how to get to the next uh, alt window. Maybe I need to go here and go to main. Okay, control panel. Drivers. I think that's where it said to go. Install drivers. Hmm. 
MIDI sequencer. Back the uh, I suspect the uh, ports and everything, or the addressing in the Windows Any file, is different from what it is in the uh, Tornado Exec Bat. So, file exit Windows. delay here in Extreme Windows is. Although we are now officially hung. Okay, with a bit more playing, I've now got the Sound Blaster card working in DOS. So there's an 8-bit audio test. 16-bit testing. Synthesized music. quit here. We didn't actually change anything. 220, 330, 515. There's no changes that I know of. Well, I've had issues here where after a reboot, the diagnostic utility fails to see the card, like plug and play fails. We'll see here what happens this time. We know the card's functional finally. Uh, earlier I cycled the power on the machine and then the card worked again. Got through the little diagnostic uh, test in the auto exec. It's happy with a uh, little diagnostic here. Ron at least is telling us it's finding it there. So now, can we start Windows and actually have it work with audio hardware? Or will it barf again? Ah, welcome to Windows. We have Windows Audio. Very nice. Oh, window. Let's go to the Sound Blaster 16. See what all's in here. There's creative Music Sound Delay. Creative MIDI.
I don't know how to uh, load a file. And I don't know how to kill this. The program manager, apparently that can sit there and run in the background. Creative wave. I guess I could bring it up and run Windows MIDI player. Uh, same kind of thing. I don't know how you load a file into it, however. Don't know. Well, I'll file. I'm going to exit Windows so this all gets shut down and restart Windows. But you know, we have sound under Windows. It's a good thing. like to see the uh, MIDI uh, player in Windows actually play a MIDI file. Too impatient. Media player. Canyon dot MIDI. Device scale help. I'm trying to figure out how to get to the uh, play button. It's not tab. It wasn't that. Boy, uh, there it is. suffer through the entire song but it's working makes me happy <laughs> <laughs> 